Welcome. I'm Doris. I work at Tallinn University as a senior marketing specialist. Today, we're going to tell you about Tallinn University overall, about our study programs, admission requirements, and of course, student life. But first of all, where is Tallinn University? We are located in Estonia. Estonia is a really small country in Europe. As you can see on the map, our neighboring countries are Latvia, Russia, and across the bay, Finland. As I said, we are a small country. The area is only a bit more than 45,000 square kilometers. The capital city is Tallinn, so we are located in the capital city. The population of Estonia is only 1.3 million people. The currency here we use is Euro. The language is of course Estonian, but no worries. English is widely spoken as well Russian. We are the member of EU, Schengen area and NATO. And we are a e-society. We have honestly Wi-Fi access almost everywhere. We have here e-voting, e-residency, name it. But about Tallinn University. We are the largest university of humanities and social sciences in Tallinn and the third biggest public university in Estonia. Tallinn University was established in 2005 and named as Tallinn University. But actually the history of the university dates back even to the beginning of the 20th century. But in 2005, different units that were in Tallinn were merged into one and named as Tallinn University. What's interesting about the university is that we have the longest traditions of teacher training, yet one of the most modern film and media schools that exist side by side. At the moment, we are located in TV studio, for example. Our university has a unique, innovative and interdisciplinary programs. Interdisciplinary means across disciplines. Uh, later on, you're going to hear about the study programs. We have a new campus in the city center. Everything is close by. The harbor is close by, airport, bus station, the old town that belongs to the UNESCO heritage is close by. And we even have a branch in Helsinki where we teach law. We have prominent scientists and lecturers. All our professors are really experts in their field. We rank in world top 250 in sociology studies. We believe in individual approach to students. By that, I mean our courses are rather small, so the students always can approach the professor, discuss different matters with the professors, with the course mates. And here we have a creative and free environment. We have five fo broad focus fields at universities. All the research, everything, all the teaching is done in those five broad focus fields, which are healthy and sustainable lifestyle, society and open governance, digital and media culture, educational innovation, and cultural competences. Of course, what's important to university is student life as well. We have about 7,500 students studying with us, among whom around 900 are international students. About the student life, we have here different uh, organizations. We have our own cafe, photo club, sports clubs, basketball, volleyball club, culture club, international club that organizes events for international students, ESN for exchange students, even our own childcare. And you as a student, of course, can always take part of different events the organizations uh, organize or be part of the clubs. Additionally to the degree programs, we offer short courses here. One option to participate in our short courses in, is international summer school. The summer school will take place in July from 9th to 27th. There are about 25 different courses in various fields, language courses, creative courses, different workshops, etc. And a lot of the courses are connected to our degree programs as well. During the summer school, we have here around 300 participants. About 85% are from foreign countries. We also offer scholarships in our summer school. And last but not least, of course, what we offer is exciting cultural program. So the participants can visit museums in Tallinn, go to field trips outside of Tallinn to discover Estonia. If you're interested in the short courses, you can go to summerschool.tlu.ee and register to a course you like the most. 
counterpart is International Winter School. The Winter School will take place in January to 7 to 25, 2019. There are about five to seven different courses, but of course, cultural program. You can read more at winterschool.tlu.ee. But how does the campus here look like? What I suggest you to do is to visit our virtual tour at virtualtour.tlu.ee. There you can go and look around and see what kind of cool rooms and facilities we have here. So now about the general admission requirements. Step one, what's really important, you need to apply online at estonia.dreamapply.com. Then you need to submit the written part of the admission exam. You can see from, so you can see it from the program specific requirements. Then you need to pay the application fee, which is 80 euros. Also, please check country specific requirements at TLU dot ee slash country specific. In case you're not able to submit your documents by the requested deadline, then please contact our admission specialist at admissions at tlu dot ee and discuss with them. What are the options? Step two, you need to prove your English proficiency if you want to study here. You need to have English at least on B2 level. You can prove your English with well-known tests as Yale, TOEFL, Cambridge exam and so on. Or you can do the Tallinn University English language exam as well. But please go to our website and read more about the English proficiency. There are as well something you, some, some things you need to keep in mind according to country. Step three, wait for initial feedback from the admission specialist. If the documents are sufficient and you receive a positive feedback from the written part, you will be asked to do the admission interview via Skype, so no need to come to Estonia for that, of course. If everything is okay, you are asked to send by post your application cover from Dream Apply and required educational documents. And then if everything is okay, a successful candidate will be informed by the positive decision via online application system. But now what's really important, the deadlines. For non-EU EA applicants, except now the applicants from Turkey, Russia, Ukraine and Georgia, the deadline from submitting the application online is 1st of April, but sending your documents by post is 20th of April. So keep in mind those deadlines. Now applicants from Turkey, Russia, Ukraine and Georgia. The deadline for submitting application is 1st of June and sending your documents by post 20th of June. For EU EEA citizens, you have a bit more time. Submitting your application is 1st of July and sending documents by post 15th of July. And now for Finnish and Latvian citizens who have obtained general secondary education in Finland or in Latvia for BA level programs, except now the audiovisual media program. The deadline for submitting application is 15th of August and sending your documents 24th of August. And when does the study start? For our international students, it's really important the last week of August, which is the orientation week. There you can get all the information about, uh, about studying here, about their study systems and so on. And the study start in the first week of September. Hi everyone, my name is Peng Chong. I'm a first year PhD student here at Tallinn University. I major in anthropology and today is my pleasure to take you on a tour about our anthropology MA program. Let's get started. First thing first, I want to tell you a little bit about our program over here. We have a two year master program. Every semester you're expecting to pay 830 for the education and we have two focus. One is social culture anthropology, and another one is audiovisual ethnography. So for the first one, you're expecting to submit a thesis at the finalization of the research, and the second one, you're expecting to submit a film or some sort of audiovisual content for your degree. A little bit more about anthropology in general. Um, what is anthropology? There's a lot of ideas out there and there's a lot of theory. I'm not gonna trouble you with that. 
So in general, in my opinion, anthropology is study of culture and society. Well, some people might ask, what's that differ from any other humanity study out there? I think personally, it's about the methodology that anthropologists use that differs it from all the other arenas within the um, humanity studies. First one is participant observation. To be an anthropologist or to study anthropology, you need to go to the field and actually acquire this kind of embodied knowledge through the contact with the context under study. By that, um, you're expected to do field work. In my case, I'm doing my research on building practice in rural part of Estonia, and for that, I have to actually go to the countryside and build a house myself, which is quite awesome. And the second one of the methodology that we always use is culture relativism. By that, I'm not saying that you should follow um, the culture relativism theory, but instead, it's all about providing a unique perspective for you to understand the world through multiple contexts, to understand things from its original social culture context. Now, since we settled that anthropology is cool, I'm gonna tell you why you should choose our program. First, we have a lot of international academic staff which have expertise in a lot of different area, for example, Europe, Scandinavia, Central and South America, Caribbean, Turkey, China, and India. You gotta have a unique opportunity to specialize on audiovisual and ethnography, which is not uh, commonly uh, delivered in other institutions. And the next one, we're open to students from all disciplines. That means no matter what kind of academic background you have, you're welcome here as long as you have a strong interest and driven to study anthropology methods. Erasmus agreement with 18 universities we have. <laughs> that means if you're interested in taking some courses in other institutions around Europe, you might be able to do that if you, have a, if you can justify that. Next on the list, we have a seminar-led course that focus on active debating and discussion environment, that foster an active debating and discussion environment. You're not gonna be expecting to sit in the classroom and just listen to lectures. Instead, we're expecting you to contribute and be a part of the class. Then we have a very active student community. Students here are not only active in the classroom, but also beyond. We have students organizing NGOs and a community that uh, organizes winter school and spring school. Beyond that, we're a research-centered program. By that, you're expecting to do good. <laughs> you're expecting to good. You're you're expecting to good. Nah, you're expecting to do good research with us. Next one. Um, now you're asking, what can I do with an anthropology degree? Anthropology is very unique because I think you can do anything with this degree. Well, unless you're doing neuroscience, but um, for that, you really don't need an uh, anthropology degree. But beyond that, I think anthropology provides a very different perspective to look at the world, very open-minded kind of education that is provided from anthropology background. Therefore, there are a few industries that might be most suitable for anthropology graduate. As it listed over here, you have tourism, you can also engage in teaching and government organizations, academic research, you can do, bis you can do business, you can do development, international aid, all kinds of stuff. It depends on what you wanna do. And anthropology is just providing a general methodological tool for you to achieve your goals. Course outline. During the first year, all the MA students are expected to take courses and all kinds of seminars. And after that, you will be expecting to conduct a field work. After that, you will come back from the field and take more seminars and discussion courses. And then if you're lucky enough, you should be able to sub submit your thesis and graduate with a degree. Some of the core courses that we offer at Anthropology uh, MA program key concept in literature and culture analyst, analyst, multiculturalism in global perspective, general debates in anthropological theory, ethnographic reading, 
the list goes down. You're not going to take all of them when you're here because the courses change all the time. But if you stick around long enough, you should be able to see a lot of them. Here are some lovely pictures of the academic staff we have in the department. Take a look. They're pretty awesome. Program-specific admission requirement. If you finally made your mind you want to come over and join us, there's a few things we need you to do just to make sure that you're the right one. First, submit a statement of research interest or slash and outline of research project. Second, you will need to submit an essay based on assigned literature. If you're an international student, uh, you, can, you can submit that online as well. And the last is the interview. Um, that's all I have to say about anthropology program. Thank you for being here with me. And now we'll give the stage to Professor Bilat Vires of Estonian literature and uh, literature theory. Thank you. Hello, everybody. My name is Pirat Vires, and I'm a professor of Estonian literature here at Tallinn University. And I'm going to introduce you Estonian Studies MA program. Uh, Estonian Studies MA program is a new program. It uh, started only last year, and the first admission was also uh, last uh, uh, summer. But if you are looking at this video now, I would encourage you to listen to my presentation and I hope that you will find it, our program interesting and you also decide to join this program this uh, year. Uh, this uh, program as uh, our uh, standard master programs last for two years and uh, there is uh, tuition free, uh, 830 euros per semester. Uh, the study is uh, cycle studies. That means that you have lectures from uh, Thursdays to Saturdays and it gives the opportunity to have a part-time job during your studies. The focus of the studies, as you listen already from the title, is on Estonian language, on Estonian culture, history, society and politics. And the study language of this program is English, but you will learn Estonian during this uh, uh, program. And the uh, minimum rec uh, requirement for graduation is uh, Estonian language level B1. Uh, now, if you ask why you want to choose, why, why choose uh, this program among all the others that we are offering and the other universities in the world are offering is that the student studies master program is really a unique program. There is not such a program in Estonia, not in any other place in the world, because uh, it concentrates on Estonian language, culture, history, societal and political topics, and all these subjects are taught in English. And it is also possible to learn more Estonian language and also if you are interested in translation to enhance the uh, skills of translating literature. Uh, as I mentioned, Estonian B1 level is the minimum requirement for graduation. But if you uh, join the program and your Estonian language is on a better level, you can increase your uh, language level even, even more. Uh, and also, why choose this program? Because we here at Tel University in the School of Humanities, we have really distinguished, distinguished researchers and lecturers. And the graduates of the program, they have wide uh, possibilities uh, to, to find work uh, because you can work in economy, in diplomacy, in cultural export and also in creative industries in Estonia or abroad. Or if you are interested in translating uh, translation and translating Estonian literature, you can find a job as a translator of Estonian literature into your native uh, tongue in the future if you, if you have increased your language skills. And uh, now the question is, whom is the program for? Uh, first of all, there are several universities in the world who have, uh, uh, which uh, uh, 
offer Estonian language and culture courses. And if you have, have graduated one of these uh, universities, it is uh, possible for you to come here and uh, study Estonian culture and language even uh, more. But, uh, however, if you are just... Uh, If you have just studied a little, little bit Estonian, it is also a possibility for you to come and, and, and join the program. Uh, because uh, your Estonian might be good, but not so good that you can uh, uh, study in Estonian uh, language uh, master program. This Estonian studies gives the possibility to study all the interesting subjects for you in English language. Uh, also, it's not uh, necessary to uh, know Estonian language uh, if you are only interested in Estonian society, culture, and you want to know more about these topics and you have some other background or BA in other discipline, it's possible for you to, to come here and uh, uh, study in this program. And, and the first focus group is for those who are interested in translating Gastonian literature and it is possible for them to uh, increase their language level and also to opt obtain the uh, translate, translation skills here. Uh, as I mentioned, this career perspective, it's, uh, uh, as it's uh, quite a wide program, there is a wide uh, vari variety of jobs available for you like in economy, in diplomacy, in cultural export, in creative industries, in translations. And uh, we are proud to say that the graduates of the program will know Estonia, speak Estonian, are able to mediate and explain Estonian culture, history and society in the world and could be so-called Estonian ambassadors to the world. It's a great honor to be an Estonian ambassador to the world. Uh, some words about this uh, course outline. First, we have this compulsory module of introduction to Estonian studies. Then we have also practical activities like research project in speciality and master seminar. Of course, we have Estonian language classes and we have a quite wide range of electives of Estonian language, culture, history and society. And it's up to you which of them you would like to choose. And for those who are specializing in translation of fiction, you have opportunities to develop your relevant skills. And here are also some examples of our courses. First, these Estonian language courses, A1 level, A2 level, B1 level, and you will graduate, as I mentioned, with the B1 level. Uh, there is course of introduction to Estonian studies, Estonian regional studies. You will have an insight into Estonian contemporary culture. You have a course about language and society. You will know more about Estonian politics and society. We have a course about history and memory and also about contemporary issues of Estonian society. And also you will have possibility to learn more about Estonian literature. And here is some pictures of our wonderful staff. Uh, here you can see me. We have here Professor Marek Tam, Professor Anna Versik, uh, uh, Professor Karsten Brüggemann. They are all the very good and distinguished uh, uh, experts in Estonian language, culture and history. And we also have uh, uh, instructors from School of Governance, Law and Society who are going to give you a very good knowledge about Estonian politics and society. And you can see Associate Professor Tony Sartz down there. Uh, there is a, a tuition fee for this uh, course, but however, it is possible to obtain uh, scholarships. There is a special scholarship issued by Estonian Literature Center for those students who want to specialize on translation for translating Estonian literature into other languages. But besides that, there are also other foundations available like Estonian Stu Students Fund in the U USA. Also, the Archimedes Institution issues some uh, uh, scholarships and it's possible to get a possible reduction from the fee also from our own institute. 
Uh, and uh, the program specific admission requirements uh, are the following. First, you have to submit the letter of statement of uh, motivation letter and statement of research interest. You have to submit it online. We will evaluate to the admission committee. And if you find this uh, motivation letter good, you will ask to come to an interview. Usually these interviews are conducted via Skype. But if you are here in Estonia, we can also meet in person. And uh, these are these two main uh, Uh, parts of this admission exam, but if you want to specialize on translation, on translating Estonian literature into other languages, then you should also uh, upload a, a two-page sample of a translation from Estonian into your native language and the Estonian original. So we are going to look through this translation and also evalu evaluate it. So you see, It's a really very good possibility for all of you who want to know more about Estonia, who want to know, know more about the Estonian language, literature, culture, history and, to, and a society. And if you are sitting there in the world and now thinking, well, Estonia is not such a bad destination for study, then I think it's good for you to come here and study Estonian studies. So welcome to Estonia. And now I would like to give a floor to Enneken Lanes, who will introduce you the next program. Hello, my name is Enneken Lanes. I'm Associate Professor of Comparative Literature and Cultural Analysis at Tallinn University. And I will introduce the program of Literature, Visual Culture and Film Studies. The program of Literature, Visual Culture and Film Studies is an interdisciplinary program run in collaboration with another university here in Tallinn, the Estonian Academy of Arts. It is an innovative program that has been developed uh, based on students' interests. There seems to be a uh, growing interest among students uh, um, in, uh, um, uh, in, in the interconnection between visual and textual media in culture. And we felt that it's time to stop separating these uh, fields in, in different departments and universities and to try to look at them uh, together. Uh, images and text uh, have been strongly associated in the past. Uh, in art history, uh, the classical art was um, for centuries uh, based on um, mythological and uh, religious narratives, and therefore it's impossible to study the iconographic content without the knowledge about the biblical text, for example. Similarly, in, uh, in the contemporary culture, uh, text and image-based media uh, are always intertwined and uh, um, work simultaneously on the reader and the viewer. So in this program, um, we offer you um, broad-based cross-disciplinary skills and a, a good knowledge of uh, critical culture theory to develop your ability um, to make connections between literature, visual culture and film. In this uh, short presentation, I will, will first offer some practical information. Then I will talk about some of the reasons you might be interested in the program. You will also hear about the course outline, about the teaching faculty, uh, about your future career perspectives. And I will finish with some information about the admission procedure. Um, so this is a two years master's program with a tuition fee of uh, 830 euros per semester. The language of instruction is English um, and it is a full time program, which means that you have classes from Monday to Friday. Uh, we also offer a limited number of tuition scholarships. Um, a tuition scholarship uh, is a partial or full reduction of your tuition fee. And these scholarships are distributed based on merit. So what are the, uh, some of the reasons you might be interested in the uh, program? In this program, you're uh, 
you have an opportunity uh, to study the interrelationship between li literature, visual cu and culture and film in contemporary and historical contexts. So we are, we are looking for students whose uh, interests are not limited to one of the traditional disciplines in the humanities, but uh, uh, who are eager to explore the relationship between words, uh, still and moving images, uh, both historically as well as in contemporary culture. Um, uh, so we will equip, equip you with uh, critical tools for cultural analysis of textual and uh, um, text and uh, image-based media. This program is run in collaboration uh, with um, the school of uh, with a couple of universities uh, here in Tallinn. Firstly, the School of Humanities and uh, uh, Baltic Film Media Arts and Communication School at Tallinn University, and the Estonian Academy of Arts. Uh, we are very proud of the practical training we provide uh, in this program. We are collaborating with the major cultural festivals in Tallinn, such as Black Nights Film Festival, the literary festival Hedrid, and the art festival Artishock. The work at these festivals offers the students the opportunity to, um, to participate in these high-level cultural events as insiders, meet artists, writers, um, uh, filmmakers, and perhaps uh, uh, to find a, a path uh, for their own career. Uh, we have a uh, international uh, we have international study groups uh, with students from all over the world. And we feel that the diverse cultural backgrounds of the students really contribute to the spirit of comparative study of cultures in this program. This uh, international student community is also a very active one. We have a range of extracurricular activities, uh, partly organized by the students, such as student conferences and study trips. For example, last year, and the students organized a dystopia festival and a stud, uh, students, student conference about um, uh, G.W. Sebald's novel, Austerlitz. Both events grew out of the courses offered in the, in the program. So the students presented their uh, research papers, um, organized uh, film screenings and so on. And we also had a study trip in Tallinn on Soviet architecture. I would also like to mention that this program is a research-based program. Uh, so we prepare our students for their studies on the PhD level. So if you are interested in continuing your studies um, in a PhD program, uh, this program offers you all the necessary knowledge and uh, skills. So next, a couple of words about the course outline. Uh, in the first three semesters, uh, you will participate in, uh, in the lectures and seminars and uh, engage in practical training. Uh, at the beginning of the third semester, you're uh, asked to write a research proposal and to choose a supervisor. Uh, and then the fourth semester is uh, dedicated uh, to your master's thesis that will be publicly defended at the end of, the, of your second year in June. We offer a wide range of courses. Um, we start with two theoretical introductory courses where you uh, will learn uh, uh, about the key concepts in, um, in uh, word and image studies and intermedial aesthetics. Uh, these courses are titled Key Concepts in Cultural Analysis and Key Concepts in Critical Theory and uh, Visual Culture. Then we also offer a course that deals uh, with the interaction between words and images uh, historically. Uh, the, the course is uh, called Word and Image in the Middle Ages and in the Renaissance, because we feel that it's um, really important to show that this interaction between words and images has been, uh, is not a contemporary phenomenon only, but has also been um, uh, important in our culture historically. 
Then we have uh, three thematic courses that, depending on year, uh, may include seminars on postcolonial studies, uh, on uh, dystopia in literature and film, on uh, memory in literature and photography, on space in literature and visual culture, and so on. We also have courses on narratology and film analysis and on adaptation. And the program also includes um, uh, various electives uh, where you can choose between different options. Um, the faculty of the program is composed of the best ex experts uh, um, in literature, art, um, films, film and visual culture from uh, School of Humanities, uh, Baltic Film Media, Art and Communication School and the Estonian Academy of Arts. So we have people from um, art uh, film studies, art history, philosophy, comparative literature, um, Italian studies, and so on. A um, couple of words about your future career perspectives. The list of jobs we prepare our students for uh, include a researcher, uh, educator, um, culture critic, journalist, arts administrator, um, culture manager, publisher, cultural diplomat. But this program offers invaluable general skills, such as problem solving skills, um, writing and presentation skills that open up a much wider range of job opportunities. The uh, admission requirements for this program include a research statement, a writing sample, and an interview. Uh, the research statement is a one to two page uh, um, description of your interests. As a writing sample, you can submit a part of your bachelor thesis or a seminar paper. Uh, once you have submitted these documents, uh, you will be interviewed um, by the admission com committee um, via Skype if necessary. So if you have uh, inter interdisciplinary interests in the field of culture, you're well, very welcome to apply for our program. And if you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Um, I would like to thank you very much for your attention. Uh, have a good day. Uh, I will um, hand over to Toris uh, mm, Piho, our marketing mm, senior specialist. So, you heard about the study program, but if you want to come and study here in Estonia, accommodation is really important, of course, as well. Tallinn University has its own dormitory. It's just around the corner of our uh, main campus, and there are double rooms for the price of 150 euros. Here you can see a photo of the Tallinn University dormitory. There are two other dorms, G4S dormitory. There are double and single rooms for the price of 217 and 434 euros. And Deco dormitory where there are double and single rooms as well for the price of 150 and 300 euros. Of course, what other students do, they rent an apartment as well by themselves, with their course mates, with their friends. And like in every city, the prices vary a lot. It depends on the location, on the apartment and so on. Our students say that they can handle approximately with 300 up to 500 euros per month. That does not include the accommodation, of course. Here are just few examples of the prices we have here. Student meals, three up to seven euros. The public transportation, it is free of charge for the residents of Tallinn. Theater tickets, 12 to 18. Concert tickets, 8 to 30. And so on. Just few examples for you. A lot of our applicants ask, if they can work during the studies? The answer is yes, you can work, but you need to keep in mind that working cannot interfere your studies. You still need to complete the required credit points. If you want to know more about the working in Estonia, you can go to workinestonia.com. 
But what next? Where to start now? First of all, of course, go to our webpage at tlu.ee slash admissions, where you can see all the necessary information about the application procedure, English proficiency, read more about the study programs and so on. In case you have any questions regarding the admission process, feel free to turn to our admission specialists at admissions at tlu.ee. They are more than happy to help. Another thing what I suggest you to do, if you want to know more about the student life here in Estonia, in Tallinn, the Tallinn University, you can always turn to our student ambassadors. Student ambassadors represent different countries, different programs. You can go to tlu.ee slash ambassadors and there you can find their contacts. You can write to them, ask any questions and as well they are more than happy to help and answer. Last but not least, I suggest you to follow us in social media to keep up with our latest doings. In Facebook, you can find us when you type in Tallinn University. And there, uh, there is a group called Admissions 2018-2019. You can join the group and get information about this year's admission process there as well. But thank you from my side and hopefully we will meet you in Tallinn.